Hello, my lovelies. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today in Junk Journal July, hosted by Meg Journals and in collaboration with Get Messy Art, we are doing days 16 and 17, which is um, aged and petals. Um, and I just fortuitously, um, the next page in my journal, because I'm doing it in order this year. Um, so the next page in the journal was this beautiful, like black and white picture of flowers with petals. I'm like, oh man, this is freaking perfect. And I have some aged paper um, from like a 1965 or 69, 1969, like a uh, home improvement magazine. So I was like, wow, that was like perfect. You couldn't get any more perfect than that. Um, so then I found a picture in a magazine that had like these wood carvings. It was it was like for bourbon or something. Um, and it had like these it, wood etchings that look old. So that's what I'm gonna do um, in the corners. And it actually said like on a barrel, aged eight years. So I thought, okay, that's perfect for aged so i would just combine them and then i also found like this a uh, picture i think it was in a nat geo or a smithsonian of a illustration from like one of those old school encyclopedias so i thought that was really cool and then i just i found this picture of a truck that has a whole bunch of flowers on it so we're doing flowers we're doing aged uh and i really like how all the, the elements came together on this one and yeah, I, I wasn't originally going to put these two uh, days together, but I did anyway. And excuse those noises in the background. My husband is currently wrestling with my children. He is um, officially better. We finally um, got like an MRI of his brain and it's all back to normal. Uh, he has a couple more weeks of, uh, you know, leave before he has to go back to work. But we were very lucky after his injury that he kind of bounced back to normal. So now he's kind of making up for lost time from when he was basically bedridden and comatose. <laughs> uh, but so that's happy, happy days. So yeah, I'm just adding more of those kind of wood etchings. I'm adding more, I'm adding a border with some flowers. Um, I really wanted to do like flower petals and have them dried, but uh, ain't nobody got time for that. And I don't really have a lot of like wild flowers around where I live. So that did not happen. <laughs> so um, I'm also just adding some stationery I had that looked old, some old labels, vintage labels, uh, things like that. I didn't want to really cover those, that paper with the flowers, the black and white flowers. So I tried to keep it as open as possible, but also adding lots of little details. Don't worry. I push my journal back in frame in a minute. Uh, I think. But yeah, so I'm just adding more of that border around on the other side just to make it, you know, match. Uh, I'm adding some, like, kind of brown, you know, stickers that are kind of brownish. There we go. Back in frame. Good job. <laughs> um, but I'm also just adding some, like, uh, a, you know, stuff that looks old like it's um aged paper maybe yeah that makes sense i actually really wish so there is another prompt later on next week i think that's tea dyed and i wish that aged had been next to tea dyed so i could have done aged and tea dyed together but uh it just wasn't in the cards i already tea dyed a whole bunch of things so that's exciting i'm probably gonna have like a process a little bit of a process video in the, like how I dye my t the tea paper. Um, I know there are probably people who will do it better, but uh, here we are. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just adding little details and I just didn't, 
I kept fiddling around with those flowers, but I really didn't want that green for some reason. Because the other greens that I had were very like muted green. And the, um, the green that was on what I was just touching, the it was just bright, vibrant. It was too vibrant. I'm not, you know, aged, I think, kind of not super bright colors. I actually got um, that out of like a stencil kit. So my friend, my best friend gave me a stencil kit like to paint on the wall. Um, but I'm probably not going to do that. So that was like, oh, here's what it should look like on the wall. And I'm like, oh, cool. I'm going to cut it up and put it in my journal. <laughs> because nothing goes to waste in my house. Okay. Um, I think I'm trying to look for maybe something else to throw in here. But I don't know how that works out for me. Oh, okay, cool. I did get some. Um, but yeah, I'm just I, now I'm just kind of pulling more for the like the antique vibes i think i'm gonna put some of those flowers uh you know inside those frames because they look aged old whatever however you want to you know interpret that but i had like one of those little number stickers up there so i wanted to put number stickers on the other side to try to make it like cohesive but my corners were feeling kind of bare because like when i have a border if it doesn't reach all the way down to the bottom it makes me squirrely um, so that border doesn't reach down to the bottom. So I'm going to put that in the corner. So, um, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> weird, uh, weird things, <laughs> but here we are. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm just adding, um, I kind of in retrospect wish I hadn't covered up so much of the truck, but oh, well, um, I can't go back in time. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, we got like two minutes left and I have no idea. Editing me has no idea what else I'm going to do to this. Um, there's a whole lot of nothing happening and I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's be honest. Oh God, I'm bringing out the paint pen. Lord, I just can't help myself. So I've been trying to label everything to make sure I don't forget. Um, and you're going to just see me mess up a whole bunch of stuff right now. Because I write flowers. And then I was like, oh, wait, the, the prompt isn't flowers. It's petals, you numb nuts. So <laughs> I had to redo that. And then I think when I write it, I don't wait for it to dry. So then it smears. So then I have to write it again. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, you just got this paint pen. I'm going to do some like squiggles and i've been really into just like doing lots of accents with my paint pen uh because i have it and this is where i'm gonna tear it and then i'm like oh i just smeared all of that paint <laughs> because i didn't wait for it to dry because i'm super impatient like i do not have okay and i'm like oh, all right let's uh let's try again third time's the charm maybe <laughs> I just don't have the patience for stuff to dry. I really should have patience for dry, to dry things, but um, I, I don't. I, ain't nobody got time for that, okay? So then I just thought, okay, I'm going to glue it to the paper, then write it. And then while I do other things on the other side, it'll dry, right? So I actually found that little picture that says aged on that like oak barrel. So I was like, okay, I'll just highlight that so I don't have to write aged. So I got petals on one side, aged on the other. And there I go with the paint pen again, just dotting away. And then I'm like putting some like highlights on the petals. Uh, you can't really see them too well um, on camera, but in person. Because I was like, why not? Why not? I got, I got, I got it. So <laughs> I don't know if that really <laughs> did much. Um, but for some reason it makes me, it makes me feel better because I don't like having, um, stationery that I'm not going to use. And my brother-in-law gave me like three different white paint pens. So you might see the paint pen multiple times <laughs> this whole month. Um, so <laughs> embrace it um if you have any other ideas of what i can do with white paint pen let me know in the comments but that's all she wrote and i'll see you in the next one guys